In our last video, we talked about topological spaces. So today we are going to talk about continuous map between topological spaces. So how do you define continuous map? So for example, f is a function from topological space x to topological space y. So we say f is continuous. if f inverse of u is open in x for all open sets u of y so if this condition is satisfied for all possible uh, open sets u such that f inverse of u is an open set in x then we say that f is a continuous map between this topological space x to topological space y so uh, let's see a few examples so example number one so consider the identity function from topological space x to topological space x so why is it a continuous function because if you take any open set u here so what is basically identity inverse of u so this is again u which is open in x and that satisfy for all possible open set u so identity is an uh, continuous map from x to x so now let's look at example number two So suppose f is a just a set map from x to y where both are topological spaces but the condition is that x has discrete topology so what is meant by discrete topology we have seen in the uh, last video so if you take any open set u subset of y and you look at the f inverse of u so by the definition of discrete topology we know that all possible so basically uh, x has a topology where every possible set, subsets of x are open so f inverse of u is open in x because x has discrete topology so this implies f is continuous now we have very uh, familiar examples uh, which we saw many times in calculus for example f from r to r defined by x is going to x square so how do we show that this is a continuous function so in our calculus we show it by epsilon delta definition so in epsilon delta definition we have shown that for all epsilon greater than zero there exists a delta greater than zero such that uh, so suppose we are interested about the continuity at the point x naught so such that f of x naught minus f of x will be less than epsilon if x minus x naught is less than delta so basically we can uh, write this whole formulation in terms of open sets so what are our open sets so recall that in r if this is x naught so all possible sets so this is your x naught plus delta and this is x naught minus delta so this is an open set so you can write it in terms of open sets so this is basically saying that inverse of image of an open set is again open 
so you just check it there is nothing too uh, too difficult involved here so these are the uh, more or less definition of continuous functions so continuous functions in elementary uh, calculus we have seen other properties for example most of the time when we studied uh, sequences and series so x n converging to x f continuous so this implies f of x n is converging to f of x so that we no longer have in this topological setting but we can still say about the sequences if we consider something called topological net which we will discuss in the next video.